In my previous video I showed you how to recycle HDPE, that's uh, plastic melt bottles and bottle tops, into this material which is a rigid solid plastic sheet. So today we're going to look at one of the things we can actually do with this material. What I'm going to try and do today is make a, a pulley wheel that's compatible with LEGO Technic. I'm not too worried about the diameter of the wheel but I do want it to fit onto this LEGO Technic shaft. So I've made myself a template and just printed it on self-adhesive paper. And I'm just going to pick a nice piece of reasonably thick plastic. I think that's going to go there. Okay, that won't stick very firmly to that plastic because HDP almost nothing sticks to it. But that, that'll stick there long enough for us to work on it. So now downstairs to the workshop. Okay, first step is to drill some holes in the board. Now I'm going to be drilling 3.5mm holes because I'm going to mount the workpiece on a, uh, an M4 bolt to work on it. And I chose this because that still gives me some scope to enlarge the hole a bit later to make it fit the cross section of the Lego shaft. So cutting it with an ordinary hacksaw is an absolute breeze, so we just do... And because we're working at fairly low temperatures when we remelt this stuff, there's no reason why that offcut there can't just go back in, get cut up into pieces and go back in, into the next melt to be recycled again. The only truly difficult part of this job is just keeping the workpiece clamped in place. Because HDP is so very slippery it's actually sometimes quite difficult to hold it down. So anyway that's the piece roughly cut out, that's as good as it needs to be for what I'm doing next. Um, now I'm just going to enlarge those holes. Even these shavings here, as long as you keep them nice and clean, they can be put back into the mix and melted again in future. This is actually a really simple drill powered lathe. It's made by Wolfcraft. I was very lucky to pick this up a couple of years ago. Uh, it's just a bracket that holds the, the electric drill in place and then there's another bracket which has the, uh, the the tool rest on it which clamps onto the workbench and is adjustable. I need to fix my workpiece onto the bolt to make it possible to turn it. So I've deliberately made that so that it's a really tight fit. So I'm just going to screw that bolt through the central hole and I'm just going to put the nut on there. I'm just going to do that up as tight as it will go against that plastic. So I'm going to grip it with pliers on that side and screw it all the way home and tight from the other side. Now I've got to mount that in the drill. I've got the bolt tight against the jaws of the chuck there. That'll just help it not to come undone from the workpiece as it turns. So now I just need to work this using wood turning tools and pretty much the same technique as you would for wood turning. Starting off with a parting tool. Okay, so that's the outside turned to round now. I'm going to take that paper template off now because I don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to work on the face here. It's 
So now I need to take the workpiece out and reverse that bolt so I can work on the other side. So I've just reversed the bolt, I've put it through the other way so that I've, can, I've worked on that side, I can now work on this side of the pulley. There we go, it needs a little bit of tidying up around the holes there. I've still got to cut a hole in the middle to make it compatible with the Lego drive shaft. And the final bit of tidying up can be done with just little rat's tails files. And we'll find that most of those little shavings that are caught up in the holes there just come out very neatly. So that's the almost finished pulley wheel. I've just got one more thing to do though, because I want that to fit on the Lego Technic drive shaft. And as you can see, the hole is just a little bit too small, but that's fine. I left it that way on purpose. So now, using my flat rat's tail file, I'm just going to cut that hole out a little bit bigger. Just extend it out into a sort of cross shape. I'm not going to go too fast with this because I don't want to overdo it, because it has to be a reasonably tight push fit onto the shaft. Okay, I'm not terribly proud of the finish on that hole, but I've managed to file that out so that it's cross-shaped. So we should find that's a nice tight fit on that shaft. So there we have it. That is by no means perfect, but with just a little bit of time, I've managed to make myself a pulley wheel that works with Lego Technic. For more interesting ideas and projects, please visit atomicshrimp.com.